Every single plan that G2 set up just falls to pieces in front of their eyes. I think in this event, we learned that the communication inside the team is probably not as good as it should be. We were individually lacking. I think we weren't as prepared. We had too much confidence going in versus these teams, and uh, it just bite us in the ass in the end. Being fearless and trusting your team 100%, it's probably the most important thing. Maybe NA and EMEA got really cocky or something, I don't know. We thought that we were better, but we actually aren't. Yeah, we just expected the win to be handed us, you know, like, we are the best, we don't have to work. Hello everybody and welcome back to the beautiful Iceland. Day 5 of Masters Reykjavik and we're down to our final 8 teams as we enter the double elimination of bracket stage. Hello guys, uh, we're heading into the venue. We will soon play against Zeta. Yesterday they beat an IP and uh, they look strong, so let's see how strong they are in reality. <laughs> Here, holy shit! <laughs> ah. The keyword. Ah. Is, if it's too much, what's the keyword? Your bomb. Oh, you buy, you Yeah, please keep telling. <laughs> And for the next of the games, we will just come with the banger. And imagine another team comes in and we're like this. <laughs> Mental edge achieved. Давай, let's talk. We don't need to overthink. We know inside that we are the best team here. We just need to make sure that we show it. That's it. Boys, it's FPS game, it's shooter, you bite. You go and headshot people. And that's how you win events. You just go and headshot consistently. This guy picked Deagle on chamber, back, back, bomb, bomb, bled. Da, da, yes, ah, go, da, A, B, bled, ah, whoa, smoke. Pizzets, it's not the game. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos! Vamos! Let's go! Let's go! He's patrolling it. He is so much, so many players. One, two, make it three. No, not today. And Evova has to go. He has yeah. to buy time to allow the meadow to get a little bit close. Oh, that's Evova. it! That's the money from Evova. Tries to do what he can, becomes a turret himself, but he does get taken down by Chrome for support. Here! Yeah. Yeah. Mix Mix gets a time! Come on! Just finished our game versus Seta. It was a really tough game. They played extremely well. They had a plan for us. It was hard to adapt, but uh, we had some insane plays from the team. I didn't play too good myself, but uh, you know I have the best team in the world, so it uh, it was easy win anyways. It was a super long event, to be honest. We played two games and we were 11, 11 days here. We needed to chill a little bit. When you play so much, you always need to to relax and we went to the Sky Lagoon. It's amazing. It's such a nice place. It really helped us to keep it cool, but we lost anyway, right? <laughs> oh, it's so cool when you stand up. You know? Very cool. Final EMEA team versus the final Brazil team. Then we came into the game with Slout, and to be honest, it felt like it just felt almost impossible, like the way we played. We didn't play exactly as we did in practice. For some reason, we were thinking too much about their game plan instead of our own. That's the first mistake, and they were hitting some insane shots as well. So. I mean, Sadak is thinking about going towards. No, there is no way that let's just got them both there in mid. On top of that, we got wrecked on the first map. Down of over, that is more than clean. I, I really like that idea from G2, but it didn't work. Last was up top, cross. Not a clue. Mixwell's gonna have to get one anything done. Made. There's the one, and he yes, drops immediately. Oh, flash, trick through the wall, just dodges around the side. And that is magnificent. I think today, the things we did bad was just not getting into the game fast enough. Uh, Honestly, they won us by out-aiming us. <laughs> that's, that's the biggest reason. They hit insane shots, we didn't. That's the reason.
So today we're gonna play at the stage. Right now we're waiting with the boys here. So the rest play against Paper Rex. So we're playing Icebox and Paper Rex start, like, starting on the like, uh, We are staying with Muki and the second band face and I'm like to him saying in Russian, they don't play Ascent, he will ban Ascent right now, what do you want to play, like Fracture or uh, Icebox? And he understood it because I said it in Russian and he's like, ban, ban Ascent. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. And then I tell, okay, ban Fracture and they were so surprised that we banned Fracture. So it's Icebox third one? I think before the Paper X game, we were confident. Their style kind of matches up well with us because we like to take fights as well. We started the game pretty strong. Passive spots and, well, the timing of Mixwell couldn't be much better. It will be a nice kill coming in for Benkai though. They also isolate a player at the back of sight, but Mixwell's... We knew their composition on split because we used to play it before. We know the strength and weaknesses of their comp. I don't know, we didn't keep it cool, even though we were leading by a lot. And we started to do simple mistakes and getting picked off by Forsaken, which played really well. Balls! What? The Forsaken gets it! Still alive for four! And he is out of there! They started to come back and gain momentum. Forsaken was destroying us. Because what? of it, giving Jules, he's still alive! Translated into the second game on, on Bind, where he played Yoru, he dropped 30. By the flash, the operator's now rotated into play. A trade oh. early, Forsaken, another kill, and Bankai tucked in the corner. How does Forsaken get away with that? And they were just not afraid to lose, which is what I think was detrimental for us. We were leading, and even if we were leading, it looked like we were gonna lose for some reason, I don't know. We didn't have that killer mindset that you need. We got stomped and I just, I could only feel like we didn't do enough. It shouldn't be like this. There's positive things of this event. First of all, Iceland is beautiful. I've never been here. I'm happy to, to be able to play in a country as beautiful as this one. Meadow played his first LAN ever, so that's a huge experience for him. We understood each other better during the event. Now it's time to solve things. It's just the first Masters, right? It's not Champions, so if you qualify for Champions and you are able to solve stuff, we still have a lot of time. And we cannot overreact to a loss like this. If we're professional enough to be able to change things, we will compete in Champions. If we are not, then we will be losers. So uh, hopefully we have what it takes to become champions.